with Vocab Magazine and I'm here at the Love and Hip Hop viewing party. Hi Chrissy! Hi! You're fabulous! You're more fabulous. I want to be like you. <laughs> Let's have a fabulous I want to go up and be like you. Aww, you're so cute! <laughs> Tell us more about your fashion choices because I know a lot of people look up to you and they really think you have a great style. So tell us what, when you look for an outfit, what do you look for? Okay, well I really look for a cut. I look for something that flatters my figure first and foremost. I've always been a tall, voluptuous woman and it's been hard for me to find things that really, you know, fit me yeah. because I have the long arms, the long like legs. Fit your curves. Yeah, so number one is cut. Number two is I love luxurious materials and fabrics. I love satin, I love silk, I love fur, I love leather. Just anything luxurious and I look rich and fabulous <laughs> like Zsa Zsa Gabor, darling. Yeah. I love her. Oh my God. <laughs> well, now you are the star of Love and Hip Hop, one of the you know fan favorites. What can we expect from this season? Any drama? Any cool stuff? Man, I don't even know what to expect when I wake up in the morning for myself. I can't really give too much away. You know, we're not allowed. But it's a lot of fun. A lot of um, different facets to my personality. Okay. You get to see my dramatic side, my business side, my funny side, my cute side, with, you know, being a mom to Marge, Tiffany, my chihuahua. So just all the facets of Chrissy. And apart from love and hip hop, you're also a very well-rounded business woman, you know, smart, amazing woman, right? So what other ventures are you into right now and what what's in the future for you? Okay, well I have my talent development company, which is La Joux Entertainment, which mm. means the game in French. Um, I'm working with that. That's really doing well. I'm trying to possibly think about getting an agent this year to maybe get into some big, you know, feature films or maybe like a sitcom. Um, I would love to be on Saturday Night Live. And you, you, you've been on sitcoms before, acting before, so it's probably natural to you. Yeah, I've done a lot of cool stuff. But this by far, you know, VH1 is the biggest thing. You have an amazing life story. We all know that. You really worked hard to where you need to be and I really respect that about you. So I want to know, what words of advice would you give to younger people who are aspiring like you or, you know, just want to work hard and do what you did, accomplish so much? I mean, I hate to sound cliche with the don't give up on your dreams. But it's true. But it's true. I was so discouraged so many times and almost gave up on what I wanted and, you know, oh, well, let me just go back and get a regular job. But it wasn't, I didn't Not feel like God you. put that on my heart. I'm too fabulous. I have too much to offer. Too much, too many gifts that God has instilled in me to share with other people, to encourage and, and for people, you know, to help people to prosper and be the best people that they can be. Because I never had a mentor, I never had anyone to help me. So I feel like it's so important for me to get out there and reach out to the younger women and men to help inspire and, and, and uh, be there. Tune in to Vocab Magazine, where beauty, style, and fashion is a lifestyle.